Welcome to Hoop Pop Sip Popcorn, where you learn to market to the right people at the right time, the new way. I'm Shahar. And I'm Nash. And today we have a very special show. We do. Yes, we do. We are first going to talk about bad PR online. What do you do if that happens to your company? Yes. And then, then we have a very special guest, Seth Godin, yes. on the show today. Yeah, yeah, he's starting our segment, Meet the Expert. Meet the Expert segment, And yes. then a very cool tool for you to check the popularity of websites. Yep. Yeah, so let's start. Yes, let's get started. Okay, can you tell me what's all the buzz online in the last two weeks? Well, lately they've been talking about Johnson & Johnson yes. and Motrin Flock. Yes, they released the commercial video online and they start getting some very bad comments on blogs yeah. and on Twitter, some others. It's a pain reliever. Yes, it is. And they did a film where they said... Uh, essentially it's painful to it's carry like a, painful child, to have a child, yeah, something it, like that, and it, it didn't, didn't go, go well. well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was not planned. <laughs> no. What is planned on this show? I don't yes. know. Okay, so then, uh, what did they do? They pulled the commercial out, they took the film out of uh, out of the web, even though you can't find the film yes, on YouTube anyway. Yes, complaints started coming in, they took it down. Yes, and they put a statement on their blog. Yes. on their website. And that's it. That's yeah. all they did. Well, you know, I'm not going to talk about if, if it was right, or, was wrong. right or wrong. I want to talk about what you have to do when some bad PR happens. And it might happen in your company. You never know. You never know. Especially if, like Johnson & Johnson, you're not paying attention to the conversation online. Yes. Well, have this in mind. A blogger contact the head of communications for Johnson & Johnson on a Sunday. Okay. And he asked him about what, what were he talks about that, or, or, about what people were saying yes. uh, about, um, or about the film. Their position. What yes. Was their position? And he didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Well, but have one thing in mind. There, just at that moment, there were over 2,000 tweets on Twitter talking about... All over the place, they are talking about it. The this film. guy works there. He's the head of communications. Yeah. He doesn't have a clue. Yeah, so please, please, first, always listen to the conversation online, going on about your products, about your company, or about yourself. And you have tools today that That's can it. automate that. We already talked about That's that it. before. The internet is wonderful for that. You can be on top of your game. You can see and you will know immediately after someone talks about you. So you why aren't they using it, yes. right? And, and keep tracking that because you see on a Sunday the conversation was going on so there are no weekends for the conversation yeah. online. And as a company you need to be participating you and do. I think that was the biggest mistake that Johnson & Johnson did. They were not there. Uh, they didn't have a team on Twitter that could really uh, talk to the consumers and explain their point of view, explain why they did the film. That's it. And, and no. just just talk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, they put a statement on the they website. They put a statement. They didn't have a clue what was going on all over the web. Yeah. Other you things know, that they could do. Other things. Well, I thought that perhaps, <laughs> you know, Shahar, they could they could have gone to mummy bloggers and given them like a VIP sneak preview, preview, sneak yeah. preview kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Where they'll say, hey, they use them like a focus group and say, what do you think of this of this ad and what we're going to run, this campaign we're going to run? Give us your thoughts. Mm -hmm. And then even if it is a total flop, like it was, well, then they're, they at least have, they're able to say, hey, listen, we had this focus group of moms, and they said they liked it, was it or okay. whatever. So that ha they have that yeah. capability. And, and the other thing, if you're wrong, or if you did something wrong, uh, acknowledge that, and then apologize in the proper way. And I doubt it's that just cash. a statement on the blog would do the trick. They could do some more creative things. They could make some donations and, and make it up for the bad PR they got online. That's right. People are forgiving. As long as you, you, you state that you've made a mistake and then you take action in order to solve that. Exactly. So, as a business owner, don't even start anything online if you're not willing to Interact. listen what people are talking about you very and important. then participate in yes. that conversation yes. in a very transparent and real way. Exactly. You go there not to go against what people are saying, but no, explain your side of the story. Yeah, exactly. Right? Because they're going to talk to you about you whether you want it or not. Yeah. So that's the idea to participate. Yeah, uh, like yeah. anything in business, PR, PR may happen, good or bad, you never yeah. know. So but if the bad happens, at least be there, talk to the people. Yes. And if you have to apologize, apologize in a proper manner. That's it. And take action. People take action. are forgiving as long people as are you take action. Obviously, that doesn't mean you can make mistakes, but they happen. Yeah. So. Yeah. And now to our new segment. Now our new segment, Meet the Experts. And today, to start it off, we have Seth Godin on the show. Yeah, which we absolutely adore. Yes. We admire him as a talk leader. Yes. We and every so single much. thing he talks about, you need to listen. Listen. Hi. 
My name is Seth Godin. I have exactly one minute to give you my best advice as to what you should do now to lead, to manage, to make a difference, to market. And it's just that, lead. Find an idea. Spread it. An idea that's important enough to be passionate about. Something that you care about. Something that other people care about. Something that people will talk about, not because you want them to, but because they want to. That's how you lead. By finding people who have choices, who could do something else, but instead choose to hook up with each other and follow you to make a difference. Once you realize that that's what you're doing, your day is defined for you. Your mission is set. Then you can reach out to people and say, this is what we're trying to do, what we're trying to do, not what I'm trying to do. And person by person, you can build a tribe, a tribe of people connected to each other, connected to an idea, and connected to you. Good luck. I love this concept about tribes. Me too. That's yeah. it. So, you know what? Watch this uh, show again later. <laughs> Pay attention to Seth Godin and then go, go and get his buy book. his book, Tribes. That's uh, it. It's he, his latest book and it's really, really good. It's an excellent book. And that's yeah. it. He hit it right on. Everyone needs to lead a tribe. It, now is the time to do it. Go get his book, Tribes by Seth Godin. It's wonderful. Yeah. And now, our tool of the day. The tool of the day is Alexa. A-L-E-X-A dot com is where you can find it, download a toolbar. Essentially, that tool is going to give you interesting information so that you can have a competitive intelligence, yes. right? You're going to go, what they'll do is they'll rank all the websites. They're going to let you know how popular a website is. Basically, they go from 1 to like 20,000. Which is number 1? Yahoo, I believe, at the yeah. time of this recording, is number 1. Then Google and so forth. And then the number increases as your popularity decreases. So yes, a lot of people well say, said. oh, I'm 13 million on Alexa. I'm, I'm getting good. a lot of people. No, no. you're not. No, no, no. Uh, that's really the opposite. As a website, the lower the number, the better. Yes, the lower the number, the better. You're really trying to get at least to 500,000. That means you have enough eyeballs, enough people on your website yes. to convert that into money, right? And, and later you try to get to 100,000. Yeah, so make that your first goal. 500,000, your first Alexa ranking goal. And then obviously you want to make it better. Yeah. Also on Alexa, you can check the links, uh, people linking to you and where people visit after, after they, they yes. leave your website, which is very interesting yes. because then you can know what they are looking for, what their needs are. Yeah, that's yeah it. And also there you find the, the logo for the Wayback Machine. So yeah, you can that's see fun. those websites, how they used to look two years ago, Way three back years then. ago, and even your website, that's how it used to yeah, look. Yeah, I love being. that tool. You will see that websites, they, they change because they're yeah, almost so like cool. living beings. It's like evolving. They're yes. evolving. So that, that's a very cool tool. I use it all the time. Me too. I also check when people try to sell me stuff, like I can put you on the first page of Google overnight and things like yeah. that. I go check their website and their popularity with the page rank. It gives me a pretty that good idea. That will tell you everything. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah, cool. All right. I well, think that's all. That's all. I hope you enjoyed the show. Go get tribes. Listen to the show again so you can get, obviously, you can listen to us again. Yes, which is but very then good. Get a little bit more of Seth's message.